Spanish come in here at all? Yeah. A little bit, not a whole lot. Yeah, not much. All right, man. Welcome to another venture of fishingwithphil.com. We're out here on the end of a pier today doing a little blue fishing and Spanish mackerel fishing. That's a good Spanish mackerel fish. I mean, a good king mackerel. Gotta use a pair of pliers. Here. Teeth will yes. cut your hand up. We'll give you a bunch of stitches. You need a pair of pliers. Watch out, here comes one up over the top. <laughs> There's two ways to fish a uh, Spanish mac. One is the overhand technique, where you just jerk it up like this. That's what you call quick release. And the other is the underhand technique, like this. Here's how strong the teeth are on a bluefish. Broke the end of the hook off right there. That's why you need a pair of pliers. As you can see, Camp Lejeune's not far away. Sometimes if you let it sit there, if they're not biting, just let it sit there for a little bit and pop it off the bottom a couple times. Yeah, that'll do it. Fish coming in. Oh my gosh. Blue fish everywhere. Blue fish all over the place. Spanish. Alright, there's a lot of different kinds of gotcha plugs. This one here is gold, the redhead. You got green, you got white, all different kinds. They all seem to work. Experiment with different ones, see which one works best. We're going to try one here, let's go with the red head and see how that one works. The reason the red head weighed before worked pretty good, maybe we can pick up a Spanish on this one. Yeah, it's real important to use a 30 pound, 20 pound leader. His teeth are real sharp as we showed you. They'll cut right through this. He's about a 12 pound test. That's a thick leader. Did you get your line wet yet? Huh? You wet your line down yet? Yeah. Got your plug fish and you can use light tackle. Spin caster rod. It's a 70 foot rod on this one here. Some people like a shorter, shorter.
shorter end of the so can flip it better. I like a little longer, sturdier fries. It's kind of a preference thing. Try them and see what works best for you. I'm Jane. Uh, he's been just here for many a year. He got off and I got another one. I just lost one. Look at that. Throw it down right next to mine. There's one right next to it. If you can. See them? There's like five of them right there. I look like a Spanish next to him. That's what it is. The Spanish are in there and the blues are still in the bait. There's two Spanish right next to him. Yeah. The blues are still in the dang bait. That's nice. And I don't put up such a fight when I got him on the pier. I was going to let this one get a little tired. That's a nice one. You sure fighting? <laughs> All right. I don't see anything next to that Who's one. Who's playing Well, that's one thing about ocean pier fishing, you never know what you're going to catch. Today it was blues, not too many Spanish, but a lot of blues. We had a lot of fun today, I'll see you next time on Fishing with Phil. And check out our website, www.fishingwithphil.com. Till then.